So hello everybody, if you ever wanted to learn how to connect to APIs, this is the video for you. We're going to have Chuck Norris teach us how to connect to APIs in Power BI. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to build. There are going to be two queries. The first one is going to give us a random joke. So every time you refresh, you will get a new joke. Chuck Norris knows what's up. Chuck Norris can install items without install installing QuickTime. Uh, then the second query that we're going to get is going to be a little bit more complicated where we will be getting jokes by category. So you can ask for a category and Chuck Norris will tell you a joke accordingly. So how do we do this? Let me show you. Um, if you go to api.chucknorris.io uh, here you will see the documentation of uh, what you need in order to connect to the API. Now, this API is meant for educational purposes, so it is actually quite cool. So, if there is a REST API, it means that you can actually grab the query, like it says here, on the GET, like GET data, and then you can paste it on your browser, and it will give you the result. And this is something that we can use the web connector in Power BI for. So if we go to Power BI, this is a clean copy of the, of the Chuck Norris. It just has the background images, nothing else. If we go to Power Query now, so we can actually utilize the web connector, as I was mentioning, to actually grab the results of the query. And this is going to give you, this is the response back from the API. And then here you have the joke. So you can remove the columns and then convert it into text. You load it. And that is the ease to connect to an API when the authentication is um, anonymous. If it has other types of authentication, things get a little bit more complicated. But there are a ton of APIs that actually use anonymous as authentication. So you make it as a card. And then it would be cool to have actually more text possibilities, uh, font types possibilities. This We could have some kind of like a Hollywood theme text. Unfortunately, there are not quite many. So we do what we have, right? So there you have a chart. Norris. Okay, that's probably not the best joke. Let's change it. So if I refresh the data, I probably get a more Political. When Chuck Norris plays Taekwondo, he beats the referee, okay? So it's as simple as that. Now, if we go to the API again, it says here, okay, you can actually get a Chuck Norris joke from a given category. And you can see that this is the query they give you. If you copy paste this and do the same as you did last time, you see that it says but request, and you're probably wondering, like, why is that? Well, this thing between curly brackets, it means that this is a variable. So you need to give it, instead of writing category, you need to write what the category is. So, for example, I think movies was one of the categories. No. I think dev was one of the categories. Let's try that. You see, it gives you the, the response. So instead of category, you have to write what the category is. So how do you do that in Power BI? It's actually easier than you think. So the first thing that we need to know is what categories are available, right? And they tell you here. So retrieve a list of available categories. So you can copy that. Always test it in the browser, why not, to see if it works. And you can see that you're getting here the categories that you will have. Now that you know that it's working, you copy it, you go to Power BI, Power Query, and then again, this is a web call. You go to the web connector, paste it, and it's going to give you a list of the categories available, right? So now that we have the categories available, what we need to do is to feed those categories into the URL that we had. So we could actually do like this. If we go back, we can go and copy this thing. Go back to Power BI and then add column, custom column. And then we're going to paste it in there, right? You need to, this is text. If you paste it like this, remember you cannot have category like that. It will not work. Let's call this joke already from the beginning. 
So you cannot make this call. You, we tested it on the web and it doesn't work. Here, the category needs to be substituted by the actual category. So if we get rid of these and add, you know, concatenate with the column category, look what happens. It's actually giving us the query per. And if I actually grab one of these, go back to the web and paste it is going to give it you see it gives us a result now how do you now execute this as you can see this is not going to if you close and apply like this is going to actually give you just the urls it's not going to run in the api and getting the urls you see so the problem is, okay how do we do that then it's actually quite simple let me show you Always have Power Query help you write Power Query. I think it's the easiest way. So if you think about it, like you've already done this, you've already called a query like this before, and it's on this step. If you go up to the source, you can see that here is the REST API query, and it's wrapped with JSON document and content, and web content. So what happens if here in our added custom we do the same. We put in web document, right? It goes to the API and makes a call for each line. And then this one line would be for animal, the other for career, yeah, so on and so forth. So if I go up here, you will see that it's returning the results from the query. Now that you have that, you can open it up, get rid of this use original thing, and the only thing that we actually want in this case is the value, is the actual joke. So this is going to be, you can actually rename it there again, joke. And there we have now the categories and the jokes. So simple. Obviously, once you know how to do like everything in life. Now, how do we do what I did before, so you go into the joke, you put it here, then you have to select a joke in there, so we make it as a as I had it, I had it as a drop down, and then you select a joke here, and it will give you the joke there, so, and then it's just a matter of formatting, so it looks exactly the same as I had in here, right? So that is how you work with APIs. I have a ton of videos where I show different API calls and different things, but I thought it to do just a video on that. If you want to have more videos about APIs, just check somewhere here. And I will see you again very, very soon with another video. So until then, take care and bye-bye.